Okay, everybody, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so much going on in the world right now, but I was heavily pushed on to come here to tell you to communicate with your um, recently departed ones, your loved ones, um, your people that are essentially in your ancestral line now because they have passed on, um, especially if they're blood related, okay? Um, there's no more division after that. Trust me. Um, people who have done this research who have recently passed are very excited about the idea of the fact that they're not disconnected from their family. Other energies already know this, but these are people who recently passed who were not raised that way and really don't have and really didn't have some type of answer for when they passed, but these people were motivated to want to know of ways that they could communicate with their loved ones once they pass to the other realm. And it's, some of these energies have recently stepped to me and have said, please get this message out there. And I guess they're going to do their work to make sure that their loved ones find this message. So once again, please know that you are not alone. It is hard in the beginning to accept that they are physically gone. I know this. I have been through this. Even at the position that I am in. Um, but still, they are your family. And you can connect with them. Okay? All right, everybody. Have a glorious Sunday. Today is a beautiful kind of chill day. Um, I've been enjoying it. So, I just had some cauliflower bites. Honey, they were delicious. Yes. Enjoy your Sunday, everyone. Peace. Okay, everybody. I have another message that I need to add. Um, I was talking to someone, just doing a quick consult this evening. And um, one of the things that came to me was... And Spirit made sure, like, they were like, this is a line of demarcation that you are to get this message out now. That when it comes to the heinous things that we are hearing about happening, specifically in the world of celebrity, um, there is a bigger problem that's going on worldwide when it comes to heinous acts against children. It's not just happening in these rings and stuff that are being rumored to be happening all over the place. Um, the, the, the different code words that are, that are, people are coming up with, the people that have, um, recently died who were running an entire ring worldwide. Um, it's not just about that because that's somewhat, um, the more, that's in the upper echelon of things that are happening. What spirit made it plain was that when children are born and one parent is left with the child and desperate things happen as far as being able to have someone watch the child when they go to work, um, as far as being able to just get a break, there are things that are happening to children at that level. And that is happening legit everywhere okay um my cat busy um it, it, i don't know that right now we can really say that these that that children are are protected on this planet and they have to be they have to be it is important but what they really wanted to make clear what spirit was making very clear is that everybody's a part of this entire process and if you look at many different um news um articles and videos over the years of different children that have gone missing that have gripped our souls um the horrible things that have happened to them they are happening at a local level there's nothing glamorous about it there's no celebrity involved these are just, this is just stuff that's happening. And it's important that, and, and this is not to put blame on anybody. This is to say that 
as humanity, we have a bigger responsibility. We cannot look and gawk at celebrity and go, oh my God, when this is happening on a local level in a lot of places for many different reasons, for many different reasons. And it is not okay. Children are truthfully our future and our greatest resource in order for our futures to completely um, evolve and to be the amazing things that they can actually be, the futures of the many different children. We have to protect the resource that is the children. So therefore, I wanted to make sure that I got that message out. There is much more going on than Pizzagate, okay? There's much more going on than um, the children that are floating around not with their parents in Scientology. There's much more going on than Jeffrey Epstein. There's much more going on than R. Kelly. There's much more going. There's so much more going on. Okay. At the end of the day, we are individually as people having these children, and we have to understand that they are true treasures. And if they are not, you know, for those who are truthfully those angels that stand up and protect children, more of you need to step forward and be the angels that you are. Okay, so that message has been gotten out. Please keep in mind that uh, this is Bathing in Herbs and Dylan on the Run YouTube channel. I primarily run this for the spiritual side of it, which is Bathing in Herbs. But I will also come here and deliver messages that are community-based, which is what Dylan on the Run is. It is the ability to be able to sit down and have a good meal, be that... Uh, conversation, be that food, conversation and food, and talk about things that are happening in the community, especially the black community, um, but in the community period, in the world, as I see fit, as I understand it to be, and as I um, am driven to share, okay? So, everyone, please enjoy your week. 2020 is, whew, we get my rock right into September, come Tuesday. It's technically Monday. Whew. meditate y'all we got to get into this meditation and when they talk about that lighter eating it is extremely important vegetables fruits watery foods people lots of clean water an alkaline diet move your body it is important that we move our bodies very important we have to move the pockets of energy that are sitting within ourselves so they can be released because there are more things that are coming down for everyone Okay, everybody, have a very good week. Peace.